Wave at me if you're ready to go. Oh, oh, oh! I see a thumbs up. <laughs> Kate Meany, what is happening? Hi, mom, wife. Hi, lady Hi. K. Hi, Hi. shitwear. How are you? Hi, Kate. Thank you so much. Clear that he was going to drop an arsenal on you, but he already did because this is the thing. I'm so irritated with what John did to you. He well, called we knew your it was mom. Coming. You knew that he was going to call your mom and grandparents to say you needed an intervention and that you were a prostitute? Yes. And he called oh, my mom while what? she was in Paris, like probably at 11 o'clock his time, 5 a.m. her time. And she gets a call. Your daughter is a high priced escort. <laughs> and she's a heroin addict. Let's is this wow. the superintendent? Get it, Rossi is a whore. You have a whore living in your building. <laughs> and she was like, I just got a call from John Melendez. But I didn't know who he was. And I was like, who is John Melendez? He said, John Melendez? You don't know stuttering John Melendez? Oh, shut up. I'm a man from the Howard Stern show. You got offended. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, tweets. Room. That John put up to, um, he was promoting his show yesterday. Are and he says, uh, Kate Meany's a high price escort news. I never said anything bad about Kate Meany. And we looked down for her. And we looked down for her. Hey, how you doing? Man? And two. And I have to ask for what John is saying because he's definitely defaming you. I mean,. He's just the biggest idiot I've ever met. If I told the man I want to sleep with you, John, he'd be there right now. I'll never say a bad word about of you. Yeah. Can if I, I told ask him a if question? He had a small dick after sex, he would do the same thing. I mean, the right. man is out of his mind, and I know the three of you have questioned why would a 24-year-old have conversations <clears throat> with this man? Well, I'd like to ask you three the same thing. Right. Why do you want to listen to him? How awesome do you think his stupidity sounds via phone call? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sold. Smoke a little You're going to hear a personalized a episode. I get it. Why John's calling? Would I rather hear his private info or what Shuli has to say about what he assumes is his private info? Right. I've got all of it. This is off the record. And, John, this could be a lie. But I have a lot of secrets of yours that <clears throat> you may not want to hear. Oh, Listen to that. This is a bad show. I have shout. you using slurs. I have you dropping the N bomb. Oh, I shit. hear you saying F bombs. I oh, hear wow. you saying transphobic letter, uh, <sighs> uh, uh, rhetoric. Wow. I have everything, John. I have everything. I have you calling Susanna a cunt. I have you talking <laughs> about sending cocaine to Florida that you picked up at the pub from some grifter. So I know it all, John. I know everything in your all life. Right. And if you want to go to my mother, go ahead. Do you find it surprising that that he was out there being your white knight against uh, what he claimed was so many people attacking you and your mother and in just the drop of a hat? He, I feel like, took it to a whole nother level than anyone else who has given you shit online so far. I feel like he, he called your fucking mother and your grandparents. That's insanity. Yes. Insanity, because I wouldn't fuck him. Right. It was yeah. completely revenge. And John likes to pretend that he's like, no, I just want her to get the help that she needs. Like, no, you're full of fucking shit. This is all because she finally slighted you, and now you want to hurt her. It's all, it's all his revenge fantasy shit. Yeah. I want to get her in as much trouble as possible. And contrary to popular belief, I do have a heart. And there were times where I felt bad that John had no family mm -hmm. and was kind of alone in this world so he had somebody finally to talk to so i said maybe i could do an act of god and speak to this man and after a while i said he was talking too much about our conversations so it wasn't it wasn't in my best interest to continue this relationship and i knew i was never going to go to the wedding 
this is such classic stuttering jobs. You know, just something, just something, Kane. I just want you to know something. My nephew, or really my brother, is paying for another plate at the wedding. You cost his brother twenty-two dollars, Kate. How he'll dare eat, you? He'll just eat the second plate. <laughs> you bitch, cunt. High price escort. You twenty-two dollars. Come on. Takes me a year to earn that. God damn it. No. <laughs> like, it's true. Can you imagine? A weddings cost tens of thousands right. of dollars. <laughs> and John goes, and Kate is ripping off my brother to the tune of eighteen fifty. Thanks for setting them back twenty three dollars. Kids are gonna be there. He never sees his kids, whether he's, he has a relationship with them or not. The they're not at the wedding at all. They're not attending. No. Oh. He bought Lily Bell a new car. It was a whole conundrum because Susanna wanted to buy, uh, bring her to the car uh, shopping lot. She didn't want to go with John, so John had to make an ultimatum with Lily. I have to drive you. I have to, dr well, obviously he can't drive her back because she's got a new car. Um, so he said, we spent 30 minutes quality time together riding to the Not only did he not buy her a new car, he bought her a car and he's making payments on it. So if he defaults, she gets screwed, nobody else. He didn't pay for it. The car dealership. Oh, so, so for all of you that the car just for the third yeah, time, yeah, I know. I said, John, at least take her to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> she probably didn't want to. She didn't want to go. To and John doesn't talk about his Mercedes anymore. So I'm wondering if he used that to trade in as a down payment. If he has no money. Lunch. Yeah, it's, it's probably too much time with that. Uh, and I feel bad about it, but like I don't know what he did to those kids growing up that make him hate them make them hate him so much. I, I find it sad. They really do yeah. seem to love their... Because he had to pick her up at her uh, Aaron's House. kids' graduation party. Oh. okay. Okay. And um, so he had to pick her up a few blocks down because Aaron's did not want the car near his house. Wow. So Aaron, Aaron and Susanna want nothing to do with this guy. They'd never see him. Professional yeah. opinion. Who is the more pathetic loser, Chad Zubach or Stuttering John Melendez? Stuttering John Melendez. Wow. Mm. Wow. Let's take a bow, that. Chad. Take a bow. I'll think about <laughs> Chad, but like Chad, I just think is some like crazy, like ex frat boy, alcoholic turned incel. I know Howard Stern hired John Melendez and he was on his show, but. John was always a joke to Howard. And why the fuck, with your integrity verification system that John has, would you admit to crimes? How is that going to help anyone admitting to crimes like this and making painting yourself as a loser? Yeah, I get I my know. family doesn't talk to me anymore, but, it, you know, I'm, I'm the head of a cartel is not a good integrity verification <laughs> test, you know? Wow. Whoa. It's, I, I'm blown away by this. I, I really, for whatever dumb reason, I thought John was too poor and too old to be a cokehead. Is that crazy of me? I, I had no idea. He is. Tell you about his exploits in the classroom, Kate. Yes, he also told me that he had a water bottle thrown at him at one of the low-income <laughs> public schools in South Central. And how he also tells every one of his pupils that he is famous and they can search him up on the internet. <laughs> and and also, the other thing is, is that he hasn't spoken to his eldest kid in over three years. Whoa! Ooh. Wow. Wait, what? Over three years. So we know that Knight got married and John was not at the wedding. No. And COVID, John claimed apparently. no one was at the wedding. It's just one of those, you know, one of those weddings where no one was involved. Like, I don't know, it seems like you'd be there and mom would be there, right? You would think. Yeah. At so the very what, least. What caused the falling out, Kate? Because he claims to be this amazing person who accepted his child for being trans or gay person than trans. What happened? 
Wow. Knight does not like John. <laughs> Makes sense. I think that's the be all and end all. I, and I felt bad, and then I was like, ah, I guess I'll go to the wedding with you. I had an edible, and I'm like, I feel so bad for this poor old man. Yep. Until I realized he was a total dickhead. Yeah, he, he gets everything <laughs> he deserves in life, and he thinks it's everyone else's fault. I am the strongest person on earth. 